This video will walk you through how to calculate some key inventory and financial performance measures. Here's the requirements and data for our problem. As an operations management consultant, you've been asked to evaluate a furniture manufacturer's cash-to-cash -cash conversion cycle under the following assumptions. Sales of $23.5 million, cost of goods sold of $20.8 million, 50 operating weeks per year, total average on-hand inventory of $2,150,000, Accounts receivable equal to $2,455,000 and accounts payable of $3,695,000. Then we're asked to identify what we conclude and what recommendations we can make to improve performance. The basic formula for the cash-to-cash -cash conversion cycle, or CC, is equal to IDS plus ARDS minus APDS, where IDS is simply the inventory day's supply, ARDS is the accounts receivable day's supply, and APDS is the accounts payable day supply. Now the data in this question is provided in weeks. So what we're going to do is convert these variables to represent weeks instead of days. So our cash to cash conversion cycle here is going to be equal to IWS plus ARWS minus APWS, where IWS is inventory week supply, ARWS is accounts receivable week supply, and APWS is the accounts payable week supply. So to accomplish this, we're going to have to calculate more than just those three constituent components. The key measures we're going to calculate in this video include cost of goods sold per week, inventory week supply, revenue per week, accounts receivable week supply, accounts payable week supply, and the cash to cash conversion cycle. Remember, we have converted these formulas from days to weeks. The cost of goods sold per week formula then is the cost of goods sold value divided by the operating weeks per year. In this problem, the data says the cost of goods sold is $20,800,000 and the business operates 50 weeks per year, so the cost of goods sold per week is $416,000. In terms of inventory week supply, or IWS, the formula is average total inventory divided by cost of goods sold per week, which equals a $2,150,000 average inventory divided by the $416,000 cost of goods sold per week we just calculated to give us 5.2 weeks supply. Next is revenue per week, and that's total revenue divided by the operating weeks per year. The total revenue is $23,500,000 divided by 50 weeks is $470,000 per week. We needed the revenue per week in order to calculate the accounts receivable week supply and the accounts payable week supply. The accounts receivable week supply formula is the accounts receivable value divided by the revenue per week. That's $2,455,000 accounts receivable divided by 470,000 revenue per week we just calculated to get an ARWS of 5.2 weeks. Then accounts payable week supply is the accounts payable value divided by the revenue per week. So $3,695,000 in accounts payable divided by 470,000 revenue per week gives an APWS of 7.9 weeks. Now we can compute the cash to cash ratio which equals IWS plus ARWS minus APWS which is 5.2 weeks plus 5.2 weeks minus 7.9 weeks to give us a positive 2.5 weeks. Now we can interpret the results. The furniture manufacturer's cash to cash conversion cycle is positive at 2.5 weeks, which means it must pay its bills on average two and a half weeks before it receives payments from its revenue generating customers. The firm's numbers should be compared with furniture industry competitor cash to cash conversion cycles. Finally, reducing the inventory week supply and the accounts receivable week supply, or increasing the accounts payable week supply, are ways to improve overall firm performance.